We give you our devotion, boys. We are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion. Then when they're 90 years old, we are the boys in motion. Slow motion. We give you our devotion. We are the boys in motion. Welcome back. I'm feeling this hat's gonna get hot right away. And I gotta flip up the front so I can see y'all. That's why the fan's on. You can see the fan in the video. Is that gonna be a problem? You can't hear it, you just gotta see it. Welcome back to another P.O. box opening. You know when you put chapstick on, you got your hair down, it sticks to your face. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta like lint roll my lips. Every so often we open the mail together, you and I. Imagine you getting your mail, your little bills, and I'm just standing there with you opening it. I'm like, oh, that's your middle name? You put your middle name on your electricity bill? Oh, that's a big one. You guys leaving the lights on all the time? What the heck? How many things you got plugged in? Start flipping the breaker when you're not here. Someone is stealing your electricity. And it might be Albert Einstein himself. Who, who, who invented the light bulb? Albert Einstein? Theodore, not Roosevelt. Timothy Chalamet or whatever? Who invented electricity? We don't invent electricity. <laughs> Since electricity is a natural force that exists in our world, it didn't have to be invented. Benjamin Franklin, <laughs> he discovered it. Oh, you know what? That's what I want to be. I don't want to invent nothing. I want to discover something. Me just sitting there twiddling my thumbs. I want to be the one that discovers centrifugal force. And then Faith Hill can use it on a song, okay? It's centrifugal motion. It's perpetual bliss. I don't know if she was hitting a word count or a letter count in that song, but she got centrifugal motion, perpetual bliss. Like she could have just said, I want our bodies to move like the ocean and I want to kiss like I'm getting hit with a bulldozer. She could have just said that. I would have understood that exactly. Centrifugal motion, perpetual bliss. Bliss, that means like forever. Forever you're living in a state of bliss. What's bliss? Bliss is like, like a state of euphoria. Anyway, we gotta get to the mail. <laughs> I could stand here for 20 minutes. Is this thing on? I could stand, I could stand here for 20, here for 20 minutes, minutes and just, just talk about, talk random, about stuff. random stuff. I'm sure. I'm sure. I just take this hat off. I'm like pulling suggestions. Uh, please, please tell us the story about your toenails. I ain't doing it. <laughs> that was a suggestion for the garbage. Okay. Uh, can I suggest we don't sing anymore on the videos? I've had to mute several times. Okay, well, <laughs> then you're not gonna like this one. <laughs> I take it, flop it, pull it, spin it around, flip it, and I flew it up in the air. That's centrifugal motion. If I was like a science teacher trying to teach you how gravity works and how motion works, the fan going, it's powered by electricity that Benjamin Franklin discovered, but it's centrifugal motion. And when you feel the air conditioning and it's not so hot, thanks to Benjamin Franklin and electricity and the natural forces of it, that's perpetual bliss. <laughs> Every science lesson is just taught to you through a 90s country song. It could be done. Also, I went to Dunkin' and got those new, like, energy... These energy spiked drinks. This one tastes like a white claw, like a peach white claw. If you send me stuff, make sure, like if it's from Amazon, I get a note from where it's from. I write down where everything comes from. I track it. I know every single town something's come from. You got a package from South Meshuggah, Maine? Oh my God. That's where my pet goldfish's previous owner's dentist live. I've been there. Where do you think I got the goldfish from? He was in a tank. Little Finding Nemo moment. Okay, I've literally been talking. I'll probably edit this down. I've been talking for eight minutes. So here's Amazon. It's centrifugal motion. It's another cool wig. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to wear this hat very long. <laughs> we got a wig in the mail. Does this have a braid? It has a unicorn. Can you see the unicorn horn in the wig? What is that about? The wig is called Night Owl. I love these little fishnet things they put the wigs in. Wow, look how pretty the colors are. It's got ears and it's got a horn. It's a unicorn. What am I, like my little pony wig? I don't know. Jeez, okay. Of course it has bangs. How, how far back do we wear the... Hey, can you see me? This is so pretty. <laughs> oh, I can't see you, but I know you can see me. I my little pony, my little pony. Imagine like a screamo band, like this next song goes out to my niece's favorite cartoon. <gasps> my little pony, my little pony. <laughs> There's just a bunch of people in pony wigs just mosh pitting each other. Wait, my little pony? They don't have unicorns in my little pony. That just blew my mind. Are they ponies or are they unicorns? I think they're unicorns. Damn, the Blue looks good. The bangs are three-toned colors. No joke, if I could find a picture, probably for a good five, three, five years, I would do my eyeshadow pink to purple to blue. And I'm taught, not subtly, it'd slather that stuff on. I wouldn't even blend it that well for my eyeshadow. I thought it looked so good. I thought it made my eyes pop. Probably made other people's eyes pop right out of their forehead because they're like, what? Thank you for the wig, there's no note. What? You guys never send notes with the wigs. I look like I'm guest starring on Hannah Montana. I'm on That's So Raven. She's doing a scheme to get her grades changed so she can stay on the, the nail polish club after school. Like, what is this? My little pony. This was like a book. I'm sweating. Is this like a little journal? Daily planner? Oh, 
Oh, this is cute. Are they telling me to get my life together? Oh, it's not like a daily calendar. Monthly days of the week calendar. It's like a, what, you know, top priorities. Today's focus is appointments to do. There's a bunch of raindrop emojis. Is that, am I supposed to fill in how many times I cry a day? <laughs> Seven. It was a long one. And then there's a little quote at the bottom. I can put my own little quote on the day. Today's quote would be centrifugal motion. Today, my My Little Pony metal cover band got back together. This is actually really nice. And there's no dates on it. You can literally start and stop at whatever you want. Say you have a really busy week coming up. You just start your busy week. And then you're like, okay, cool. I don't have too much stuff going on, you know? It's for the person who's not consistently busy. I got seven people getting root canals. The dog's got to go to the vet. I signed up for a make your own frosting contest. You guys know I can't do that. There's so much going on. Oh, thank you. I don't know what this is. Some type of box. Amazon again. Steamy eye mask? Steamy? How would it ha Relieves insomnia, dizziness, migraines, dark circles, red- Dark circles. I don't have migraines and insomnia and dizziness. So is it the dark circles? What if they took this and they circled it? <laughs> this, this one's for you, specifically for your dark circles. Heave eye bag? What are heave eye bags? Not heavy. There's no why. Heave. Not your heave eye bags. Do not open the sealed package before use. Well, I can't open this before I use it. Avoid direct sunlight and store in a dry and cool environment. Unleash yourself from the tension of the day. Unleash yourself. Listen, if you ever think about letting the tiger out of the cage at the zoo, there's people on standby with a, a sleeper dart gun in case it goes south to put that thing back in. Unleash yourself from a long day. You better figure out how to put the genie back in the bottle is all I'm saying. What is it? I'm not supposed to open this? and like, I want to look at it. 104 degrees? You want me to put a sheet of paper on my eyes that's sitting at 104 degrees? The dark circles will go away because you're going to give me permanent burns on my face. I don't know anybody who's doing a steam mask. Let me tell you. I haven't seen that little beauty trend going around on TikTok yet. I'm opening it. Oh, I'm not following the directions. I'm gonna open. If we just open nicely. You can't stop me. Get. Okay. Steps. Open the outer package. Take it out. Hang the strap on your ear. Where are we getting the steam from? Where are we getting the steam from? When I use this in the shower, like the steam of the shower will warm up the mask. You just put a washcloth right on your face. Or you're telling me when I open this, it's about to get steamy. Like, is it like hand warmers? You got to activate the hand warmer. As soon as you take the hand warmer out, you smack it around a little bit, it starts heating up. There's just like steam billowing out of here. <gasps> oh, the steam! We can't control the steam. It smells like nothing. Don't smell like danger. This looks like a feminine pad with two tea bags stuffed in it. What is it? <laughs> There's not even a picture of someone using it. These are other people relaxed. Well, this guy's relaxing. This guy's sleeping at the wheel of a car. I'm not putting a forward object on my eye. Maybe I'll figure that one out later. Maybe you gotta activate it. That feels like a white elephant gift that I would give to somebody at a work party and be like, if you can figure it out, you let me, you give it back to me. You let me know. I'll take one of those. Okay, this is from, oh, in the town I always mess up. Mauritius, New York. It's, isn't it more, more riches? Once I say the town name wrong, I, I'm not going to say it correctly because I've already convinced myself I got it right. In central Mauritius, New York. Mauritius. If Mauritius. Like my riches. Oh, you want to come talk to me and all my riches? I live in Mauritius, New York. There you go. That's how I remember it. You typed it well. Is this a Christmas card? I feel the, some of the mail has been sitting here a little too long. <gasps> I was literally going to make these with my friends, I think, tomorrow. I was like, I'm in kind of in need. I got one on the ankle. They were the other ones that someone sent me. They're in my drawer. Dear Christine, happy holidays. Let's hope 2024 is a better year. Here's my attempt at a splatter paint type of bracelet. Goober squad rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on making content as it helps your friend, a fellow goober, Erica. Yes! Wow, yeah, you done did that. That's splatter paint to me. The only other way you can make it splatter paint is just like put random black thread in it somewhere. Or some white to break up the color to make it look more splatter. It, that's correct. You're right. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. We all heard that, yes? Well, I guess we'll have to open it. <laughs> Is this a, a bun? Oh, a time for Easter. It reminded me of like Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. He would make that noise when he hops. Get it now! The trash is overflowing. No note. What is this noise? From the peeps, the pop-up bunny plush. I'm gonna give this to my niece, Allie, who's turning one this month. She's crawling now. Can you imagine being a, a one-year-old and you haven't seen much in life? You've seen your parents' face, maybe a rattle here and there. I don't know, some weird applesauce coming towards your face. And then someone puts this in your face? Ah! Ah! I'd be crying too. What's going on? As a one-year-old, my only defense mechanism would be to cry. <laughs> I don't even know where it went. Oh, here. This is interesting too, because you don't even have to uh, press it down. You could just hit it. This is, this is just a bonus feature. This is for storage purposes. You just want to put that back in the shelf, just like that. Just 
<laughs> Thanks for that. Thank you. This is from Ruffed Designs by Allison. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo, a zippity doo, a bippity boppity boo. Put them together and what do you got? Bippity boppity boo, bitch. I know it's been a long time <laughs> to get something from Kalamazoo. Okay, a little pink package. Oh, <laughs> that's very cute. It's a dog tag for Riley. Literally his birthday's coming up. He's turning, I think, 12 years old. I cannot believe it. It's, oh my God, it's like swirly. Let me get this out of here. His dog tag's looking a little shabby. When I got it ordered, I put Shotgun Rider on it and that part has like completely chipped off. <laughs> so it kind of just looks like something Rider. His name's Riley, but he's a something Rider. He's a fussy Rider. He's a opinionated Rider. He's a backseat driver Rider. It's like swirly. Very cute, it has a little smiley face on it. Hey Christine, this is my first time sending fan mail. Why'd you put it in quotes? She's like, I'm not really sure if I'm a fan. So I'm gonna put fan in quotes. <laughs> Haven't decided if I like you or not. So please bear with me, LOL. I think you did a great job. I also first wrote this, but being left-handed and cramping after two sentences, I thought for both of us, I would just type it. <laughs> I love that. I understand. One, the cramping of the hand after writing something. The brown dog jumped over the law. Oh, my pinky's cramping up. I'm gonna lose feeling in my middle finger. We're gonna have to chop this one off. I get it. Like so many people, I have major depression and anxiety. I don't, I'm laughing, not at, at depression, anxiety. I laughed at you saying like so many people because I read it in my head as like, like most people I have depression, which is like, it's not funny. Mental health matters. Let me get that straight. Sadly funny that when people talk about it, they're like, like everyone else. Being an adult is tough. Life is rough. It's hard. Like, and then it's like, like most people who are humans, I have depression, anxiety. I'm so sorry to hear that. Back to life. like so many people, straight face, like so many people. I have major depression and anxiety. And although I have healed and worked through a lot lot of shit. I love that. A lot is capitalized. I've been working through a lot of shit. The fan of life has been throwing shit in your face and you finally took a towel, wiped yourself off. You said, get this shit out of my face. I'm gonna handle some stuff. Sometimes I just have a bad day as everyone, lol. You're a great letter writer. I wasn't here since Alloy, <laughs> the cactus, the beginning of the channel. But once I did find you the chaotic, real and unedited quotes, cause I do heavily edit videos cause I got, got too many thoughts. I go on tangents, rants. I say, um, and like every other word. I edit it out. You're welcome. The chaotic, real, and unedited videos from you were what kept me watching. Seeing a real person, all caps on the real. I got a wig on, but that's the real person. Seeing a real person doing real person shit on the internet makes you feel like more of a friend than a stranger. And I think that's so nice. And I think me and a lot of people can say you bring a type of comfort that not many people can. So thank you for doing what you do. I feel like I know so much about you yet nothing at all. <laughs> You gotta keep a little bit of it a mystery. <laughs> How's this channel gonna be all around for years if I just tell you everything about me all the time? Everything about it. Gotta keep them guessing. When you watch a TV show, do they just tell you the whole plot line in the first episode? No. You come back episode after episode. You're hoping there's a third season. And I can confidently say you have done such an amazing job at the at this influencer thing. I like that you put influencer in quotes because I kind of think of myself more as a content creator because I'm not trying to influence you to do anything ever. Just to laugh more. Just to, just to be yourself. Long story short, you are that person and I appreciate your presence even if it's through my phone, computer, or TV. My goodness. Get yourself a, a pager. I'll start paging people. Anyways, uh, you put four, five, six S's on there. I really like how you write letters. This is why your hand was cramping. You're throwing in six S's after anyways. I started my small business in the midst of feeling unfulfilled with my day job and needed a way to cope and distract myself from all the stupid life stuff. My biggest goal with my business is to cherish and celebrate our fur babies no matter what life stage they are in. I really like that. You're like celebrating the oldest of the old and the puppy that keeps piddling on everything. Hey, we got pee pad. You got a big old backyard and you keep pissing on my foot. That's actually a talent. Should we train you? Should we start making that a trick? That is crazy. When you lost Rascal, it hit home and I couldn't imagine my life without my boys. I don't know Riley's style, but I know yours. So I hope you enjoy the splatter painted dog tag I made for the both of you? Question mark, question mark. Yeah, I like it. I, I make resin dog. That's what it is. It's resin. I love that. I make resin dog tags, keychains, custom stickers, and I'm coming out with so much more stuff soon. You can find me on Instagram at Ruff, R-U-F-F, Designs by Allison. Oh, she spells it A-L-L-Y. S-O-N or Ruff's Designs by Allison.com. And if you have time, take a peek at my dog's Instagram. <laughs> Buck and Zeus. You have a dog named Buck? I've never heard a dog named Buck. And I work at a dog daycare. We have 300 dogs. Buck? Zeus we have. Buck and Zeus. I am that crazy dog mom. Thank you again for what you do with the internet presence. And I hope despite the bad days, you never forget how many people you have helped and even possibly saved. 
Allison, you're gonna hit me with the one, two, uppercut, knockout, punch to the face, the last line of the letter. What that? You saved it for the last line? Oh, that's so nice. Sending you so much love from Allison, Buck, and Zeus. Riley says hi. I've been making him wear all the bandanas people have gotten him. His birthday's coming up. We're definitely putting the dog tag on. He's gonna have multiple dog tags, you know? He's gonna be strutting his stuff around here. He's gonna be walking up against the fence line to the other neighbor dogs being like, look at this resin dog tag. Look at it. I, it says on here multiple times my name. Don't forget it. Don't forget it or I'll pee on your face. Thank you so much. That is so nice. Can I like possibly <laughs> take this off for a hot minute? Oh my, my brain. <laughs> Can I put this on my office chair? Oh, look. someone's head is this wide. Okay, Amazon again. Sticky notes. Oh my God, there's a ton in here. Wow, look at that. A whole line of a sticky note. Instead of just sticky noting the page, you sticky note the whole line. I'm a big underliner star, star, exclamation, exclamation, question mark. What is this? What does he think he's doing? Why did she sigh right? Here, what's with the sighing? Big marker of the books. Look, I, I finished the Akatar series. It's a whole. I've I kind of stopped talking about it for a while because I finally finished all the books. I'll just pick up a couple of them. Look at how the books look. Can't even put them on a bookshelf. They're that tagged up. Vaseline. Why is it red? Vitamin E. Look at this six pack of vitamin vitamin jelly. Vitamin gas va gasoline. <laughs> vitamin jelly gasoline. Vitamin E Vaseline petroleum jelly. This is a set. Do not separate. Well, good thing I run through it. What's vitamin E good for? Two things I use the most: Vaseline and post-it notes. Is that my is that my like personal jingle? Two things I use the most: Vaseline and post-it notes. Ah, snaps. Oh my gosh, multiple notes. I found your channel a few weeks ago. I could not be happier. I gained a new YouTube bestie. That's <laughs> At least that's what it feels like in my head. <laughs> I just imagine you typing that. I gained a new YouTube bestie. At least that's what it feels like in my head. <laughs> so I found some small things I thought you would find useful from Victoria C. <laughs> you get me. You get me. What's my voice doing? <laughs> Vaseline and post-it notes. Vaseline and post-it notes. Look at this bad boy. Unidentified silver object. This thing's packed too. Bright skin sugar scrub. Lot, Lawton, Michigan. Lawton, Lawtown. Law Town. L A W T O N. Law Town. You've heard of Law and Order, but what about Law Town? People don't get away with shit here because I live in Law Town, Michigan. We're following the laws all day, all day. Someone rolls through a stop sign. They're like, not Law Town, Michigan. We already sent the ticket to your house, sir. It'll be waiting for you when you get home. Maybe it's Lawton. Sounds like a detective. Detective Lawton, get on the case. I've been looking at the reports. You take a coffee break every 20 minutes. There's no crime happening in the bottom of your coffee cup. I literally. I literally was just Googling sugar scrub the other day. In Lawtown, Michigan, are you allowed to break into other people's search histories? How do you know I've been looking up sugar scrubs? Oh, a bunch of cotton balls. A bunch of loose cotton balls. Now I'm scared. Oh, look at that. These little croc charms. That's cute. That looks like two things of coffee and an astronaut doing the dab on a, a rocket. It's already starting off random. More importantly, are these scented cotton balls? Scented cotton balls. Imagine being the inventor, the discoverer of scented cotton balls. They don't really need a scent. Maybe it's the scent coming off of everything else. <laughs> Did this leak? Brown sugar, honey, lip scrub, dark brown sugar, local raw honey, coconut oil, and water. This, it just, you could tell it got, it sat weird in the package. Like, look, <laughs> we just got to level her back out. Oh, this one's wet. Okay, it leaked a little bit. Just a little. That's why the cotton balls there to soak it up. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Life was all out of lemons, so here's a potato. It's a potato holding a sign. The potato has arms. Life is all out of lemons, so here's a potato instead. I would take a potato over lemon probably nine, nine days out of the week. And there's only seven days in the week, so you can really tell how much I like potatoes. I'm a little homegrown tater tot. Right skin sugar scrub. They look like little bath bombs. Look at that. They look like big uh, Alka-Seltzer tablets. <laughs> Not for consumption, unless you want it to be consumed by your body. This is a bright skin sugar scrub peppermint chapstick. Wow, very pepperminty. Pepperminty? Cranberry apple marmalade body scrub. There you go. That's what the cotton balls are smelling like. Pineapple sage. You might be onto something there. Oh my gosh, brown sugar molasses? Brown sugar and honey. I was like, that smells so much like honey. What are we scrubbing away? Pineapple sage? Damn. That real, the sage like mutes the fruity tootiness of the pineapple, but gives you like almost like a pineapple sugary upside down cake. Cranberry apple. Okay, that's a smelly smell I've smelled before. That smells like one of my mom's candles. That pineapple sage? 
Listen, if you could put that in a candle, ship it my way. Box full of goodies. I spy a couple stickers. Hello, Christine. My name is Emily. I'm 23 years old. Again, we don't have to put our ages in the notes. I like when we do. We don't have to. A little bit of context. Uh, 23 years old from Kalamazoo, Michigan, Midwest. Girly, I have been a huge fan of yours for the last few years and watch all of your Facebook and YouTube. Facebook? <laughs> I'm posting on Facebook. I just want to say thank you for making my belly laugh in my living room while I'm home alone and bored, teaching me how to be myself no matter what people think and for being there. There's so many people around the world without even knowing it. <laughs> I'm sorry, did we all take a class in high school that I missed about how to write a letter? Because y'all are ace in this. You truly are a light to this crazy world. You work so hard to create videos, videos, videos and come up with new fun content and it does not go unnoticed. Way to be a badass bitch, Christine. That's what I like to hear. If you ever ensure how to end a letter, just end it with a way to be a badass bitch. And enter name. I love that. Inside a few products that I make for my small business. Bright skin sugar scrub. That's the business. Hope you enjoy everything and are able to find some time to relax and get a little self-care time in. Oh, I try and keep my ingredients as natural as possible. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll be shitting a brick because you love something so much you placed an order on my website. Shitting a brick. If I shat a brick for every time someone subscribed to a video, there'd be a couple hundred thousand bricks laid up behind me. We'd have a brick wall in here. <laughs> Whenever you get read this, I hope it makes your day. Thank you so much from Emily. Bright Skin Sugar Scrub is the name of the company. She sent this in January. She even dated it because she probably can tell that I can't open things on time. Thank you so much. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> this one says, don't trip over something that is behind you. Holy cut. You're going to deliver me that kind of a message and a sticker? Oh, wait. Sunflower paw print. You're a good sticker picker. That should be a name of a company. The sticker picker. I think someone could have that. Am I ever going to start a sticker company called sticker picker? I don't know. Sticker picker. Someone take that. <laughs> File the report for it right now. That's what they called me when I worked at the dentist office. You get the stickers after they clean your teeth. They call me the sticker picker. This Amazon package has like a weird ring around it. It's either gonna pop out, it's gonna be like a big frisbee or like a light or a, you know those like collapsible tents we used to have as kids? So, oh, it's a hat! Oh, for St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. I guess this hat is being retired because I just found a new hat. Look at that! Does it come with a beard? You kidding? You're coming to the bars with me. Does it go this way or this way? The beard's all twisted. I got a really big head. <laughs> 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 Could this move because the beard doesn't line up with the... You want to see my hat? You want to see my beard? I can't... Listen, I can't tell you what's at the end of a rainbow. You ever been to an end of a rainbow? They're very hard to find. First of all, you got to come across a rainbow, a tropical storm. Then you got to get to the end of it. Who knows? Usually the end is in someone's backyard. Do you know you go into people's backyards? going to be breaking and entering. You're going to get a trespassing ticket, sir? I don't think so. How about we just stick to our green beer at the bar? We don't ask questions about rainbows. I'm retiring the rainbow. I'm going to call it Mother Nature. Tell her no more. After the rain passes through, straight back to sun. Like TLC said, we're not chasing waterfalls and we're certainly not chasing rainbows. Now where's all the green bear? I'm gonna have to pay for this in gold chocolate coins. Hope that's okay. I should have a tab here actually. I probably owe you guys like a like a pot of gold. <laughs> gold chocolate coins. You know what I'm talking And then you're not gonna find it at the end of the rainbow. Just like I'm not gonna find happiness at the bottom of this pint. Da -da -da -da. What is that? Oh, I hear the music. Da -da 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 we have to go. I guess we're wearing this now. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Why does a green beard suit me? You can't deny that the green beard makes my lazy eye pop. What's that about? Here's a small letter from Autumn. Columbus MS? I just saw a YouTube comment. It said, love the air horn toots. <laughs> hey, how are you? I think MS is Mississippi. M-I-S-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Columbus, Mississippi? I didn't know there was no such thing. This is a cute little pink card. Let's open her up. Ooh, there's plants on the outside. Little cactuses, little cacti, if you will. Cute. Ooh, purple pen. You wrote in a purple pen. Hello, Christine. Hello from the small town, Mississippi. I have never wrote... Wait, what was this? Columbus. I didn't even know. <laughs> I have never wrote a YouTuber, but there's a first time for everything, right? Yes. And you probably didn't know your letter was going to be read by a leprechaun. You probably didn't know that. <laughs> She, she writes it, I never would have guessed you'd read this letter while wearing a green beard. What? Hey! Where's the hidden cameras in here? Anywho. <laughs> Nobody ever writes anywho in a letter. I like that. It's usually any hooser, anyhow. She wrote anywho. A-N-Y-H-O-O. -O. That'd be a good town name. Anywho, New Hampshire. I live in the mountains of anywho, Montana. What is that, a fuzzy coming off of there? Anywho, I struggle often with depression, but your videos always make me laugh and lift my mood. Love that. Your mannerisms remind me so much of the great Chris Farley. I love him. In a van! down by the river. <sighs> My husband and I, we got married on <laughs> 
October 13th, 2023. Spooky. She wrote spooky. Spooky. I love that. Congratulations. I was gonna say happy birthday. Congratulations. Happy wedding. Congrats on getting married. Is That's what you say. Uh, had COVID during Christmas. Had COVID during Christmas. Oh, you had COVID. I was like, COVID was multiple Christmases. Had COVID during Christmas. That sucks. And your videos literally kept, and then you smeared the word kept. I think your hand smeared it. She wrote my bad. Literally kept me saying I binged your YouTube videos and you made me laugh in between naps, LOL. Oh, I'm going to be your in between nap entertainment. Put that on the bio. Your between nap entertainment. On a real note, I thought this was a real note. On a real note, you have truly had such an immense impact on so many people. Please remember to take care of yourself. I can't, so nice. I cannot wait to see you continue. I'm not going to cry while wearing this contraption. No, I will not. I cannot wait to see you continue to grow and flourish. Maybe on SNL one day. Lauren Michaels is like, she She just wears too many hats. Literally. Figuratively. She can never stay in one costume for too long. Perfect for skits. Lauren, call me up. Give Riley pets for me. My dog always stares at him on the TV. <laughs> I'll let Riley know there's dogs staring him down. Also included some stickers for shits and giggles. You're also a great letter writer. Anyways, with love from Autumn. Love that. That one says, super thorny. I shit you not. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you make these? These are great. I like big mutts and I cannot lie. I'm gonna have to show my coworkers. These are very funny. Dog puns. Stay gorgeous. Love that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I feel like that's such a high compliment to call me your in-between nap entertainment. You wake up from a slumber. You're dazed, confused. You said, I need some entertainment. My eyeballs need to be entertained. Where's that girl who makes the, the honking and the wigs? The bush and gush who talks to herself, but you never know if she's talking to you because she's got that lazy eye. We know her. We tolerate her. And you snap while you're looking for your phone. You're like, where's that? What is her name? It's Christine something. Chris, it's Christine something. It's, uh... Christine claps, maybe? No, that's not it. <laughs> it snaps. <laughs> this feels like a picture. This is from Kentucky. Nope, it's from Indiana. Nope, it's from Hartford. Nope, it's from Jasmine. <laughs> it's from Hartford City, Kent Indiana. <laughs> I have lost my inability to read. Hartford City, Indiana. Unless that's an M, there's no state that's I am. I am in big trouble for not knowing the states. Jazz hands for Jasmine, everybody. I haven't used my box cutter once today. Why did I say box weird? My box cutter. This isn't even a box. This is alloy. Get out of here. Cute. Happy spring. Christine and Riley. <laughs> I love that. Happy spring. It's actually so nice outside. I might sit outside in my backyard. Probably wearing this. Good job on the cactuses. I don't think I've ever actually tried to paint a cactus. Painted that. Did I? Hi, Christine. I love all your videos and I've been a follower since you bought Alloy, the cactus. Currently, I've been struggling with the loss of my pit bull and, I, and your videos helped me laugh. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh my gosh. Oh, you baby. I'm glad the videos helped, but I'm very sorry to hear that. That sucks. I can't believe Riley is 11 now. Turning 12. <laughs> I hope you like the drawing I made for you and Riley. Thank you for everything you do for the world. Love, Jasmine. Oh my God. Thank you. I'm so sorry to hear about your your baby. Celebrate the life that they had because I'm sure you gave them a great life. And I, I love little pitties. I love me little pitties. A little pit bull. I'm gonna open this one. <laughs> I just want to. This is from Ellie Colville, Washington. Colville? Colville? Colville, Washington? We haven't, we don't think we've opened anything up from the East Coast, West Coast. West Coast? I'm looking over there. We might actually need the box cutter for this. Oh, yeah. oh. This is adorable, and I needed one of these. I'm not even sure what it is. It's like a little makeup case. My makeup cases are literally covered and smothered and so many makeup stains. What are these? Oh, is that cute? Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone gets settled in. Look at these earrings. That's gonna earn you an ooh shillelagh. Oh, the camera's gonna die. They're like koi pond fish resin earrings. And the blue goes in the blue sparkle goes matches the blue one. How That's so cool. They're like perfectly molded. I like that. The camera battery's gonna die. I have to fix it. Ow! Something fell. Something fell. What was that? Everyone stabilized. I'm losing you. Grab onto something. Ground yourself. What was I opening? I feel like the kid at show and tell who brought something in really cool and they're like, look what I got, but they're spinning it around so much you can't even see it. I'm like, what is that, Jimmy? Did the ice cream man sign your sock? Who cares? Who cares? The ice cream man is my uncle. You want a signature? I'll give you a signature. What the hell? What is that? The ice cream man signed your sock? I don't know where that came from. That was a bad joke. It's been a long video. I'm getting to the end. Look at the koi pond fish earrings. Ooh, this blue bag is gorgeous. Gorgino. Look at the cactuses. You can mix and match your cactuses. Wow, you jam packed this thing. We got a, what is this? I've been burning through my candles. The candles that people send me, I've been burning through them when I edit now. It's become like my new thing. Burned through three the other day. 
<laughs> That's how long I sit there. Some keychains. That's a turtle. That's a ghost. Ooh, the ghost of Fleischmann's. You'd only get that if you watch the Without a Recipe video. Oh my God, this thing's, this is jam packed. Ooh, <laughs> that's a fun little box. That looks like an old school like soap dish. Did you make that? Oh, maybe you put a candle in there. Maybe that's to burn your candles. Maybe, maybe. Oh my God. God, what even? I love little knickknacks. This speaks to my little knickknack love and soul. It's a little resin ghost with sparkles in it wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> this is so darn cute. What? Resin sparkly ghost wearing a cowboy hat? I mean, hello. Here for it. I'm a fan, apparently. <laughs> oh, is this where you put the candles? Woo-wee, I like this. Some more resin, matches my ghost. I'm glad that you put one in there as an example, because otherwise I'd be like, oh, it's a, it's for your, your traveling jello cups. Also could be a weapon. This feels hardy. It's like the size of a hockey puck. Someone breaks in in the middle of my editing. <laughs> I see a business card. Etsy is sunshine and spooky. That makes a lot of sense. Hi, Christine, my name is Ellie, and tw I'm 26 years old. I'm married and I have two cats, Cooper and Jasper. We know everything we need to know. Love that. I am also an Air Force vet. Thank you for your service. Thanks for being in the Air Force. That's that's kind of badass. Currently live in Washington State, but me and my husband are planning to move to Virginia this summer. Everything in the box but the sunflower bag. Oh, the bag. Yes, it's stuff I've made and I and is from my business on Etsy. Sunshine and spooky. Me and my husband are big fans of you and your YouTube channel. We both think you're really funny. Thank you. Why am I laughing at my own compliment? That's humble yourself, Christine. Oh, it's so funny that I'm funny. You're annoying. And I've seen, I'm talking to myself, and you're, you're annoying. And I've seen almost all of your videos. I really like your coffee run videos because I'm also a huge iced coffee fan as well. And I love that you're just being yourself, but yet you always say or do something funny. Why am I laughing at it? Christine, humble yourself. It's not funny that she's saying you're funny. Just wanted to say I'm a big fan and keep doing what you do best. I love that you make me laugh because I love to laugh. Me too. Laughing is one of my hobbies. And I appreciate that you are being your honest self and not trying to fake who you are. I like that you're fun and unique and not scared to do something different. I think we would be great friends, but I, but anyway, I hope you like the gifts and I cannot wait to see you open them and you see your reaction. Hope you have a great 2024 and make many memories. You're hoping the whole year is fantastic. Fantastic. That's a big ask. <laughs> Hope you have a great 2024. <laughs> You're like, you'll never hear from us again. We're going to stop watching the channel right after this. Hope you have a great 2024. Wish you well. Best of luck. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Huh? <laughs> I'm getting broken up within a letter. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and make many memories. Sincerely, Ellie. I look, can I say your last name? It's Ellie Grass. Your last name's Grass? I really like that. My name's Ellie. And if you get in my way, your ass is gonna be grass. Love that. Thank you so much. Shout it out again. I forgot it. Sunshine and spooky. Boom, boom. Sunshine and spooky. Thank you for the compliments, even though I was laughing at your compliment. That is just... <laughs> I don't know why, maybe it was a nervous laugh. You know when you get complimented, you're kind of like, ha, thanks, how am I supposed to? Just absorb the compliment, just take it. And then you could just toss it over your shoulder because you can't take compliments very well. Take it, toss it over your shoulder. This is itching the crap out of my face. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys for the packages as always. You don't have to send me packages or letters or whatnot. Thank you so much. There, I have a lot more packages that I thought I would get to, but I'm a rambling man and I get off on many tangents. You give me an object and I'll talk about it for at least 10 minutes. Uh, usually I try and do the, the PO box videos like once a month month, if that. Uh, if you guys don't mind, maybe I'll do another peel box a little bit sooner. Let me know in the comments. So sorry if you hate it. I'm sorry. There's plenty of other videos you can watch. Let me know if my schedule is going to ruin your schedule. Let me know. I'll, I'll schedule you in and we'll have a confrontation about it. <laughs> like, subscribe. I'll see y'all around. Oh my god, that party last night was crazy. Look what I found in my <laughs> in my wig this morning. Koi fish earrings. Isn't that crazy? That's interesting. Yes, it is. You know what I found in my beard the other day? <laughs> the key. Oh my God. Is that the key to my heart? No, not that. No, Lord knows that's been opened. It's plenty of time stomped on, thrown back in. <laughs> that's, that's damaged goods. No, no, no. This is the key to my private journals. All of my trials, tribulations, secrets, and feelings for the past couple of centuries. That's held under lock and key. Ain't nobody getting into that diary anytime. Dear diary, I hate the rain. Give me that thing right now. But I hate rainbows even more. <laughs> Oh, well, look at shit. <laughs> this is the key to all the rainbows. We've been stuffing the rainbows in boxes. Yikes! Nope, this is the key to my therapist's office. Yeah, we're actually we're pretty, we're pretty tight. Do you ever think that I need a haircut and you gotta trim your beard? Where are the layers even coming from? No, no, no. This is the key to a, um, a city. I don't know which one. Every St. Patrick's Day, they give me a key to another city. And I just, they, I drink so much green beer that I, I have no idea. Do you know I have a horn? Did you see my horn? Poked three eyes out yesterday. Had to give out my insurance card.